Living with rheumatoid arthritis, RA, can be incredibly challenging and painful. The good news is that advancements in medical research are continually offering new hope for improved treatment options. One such breakthrough is the introduction of upadacitinib, a powerful medication that promises to revolutionize RA management. Upadacitinib, developed by brand name, is a cutting-edge drug that specifically targets the underlying causes of RA, providing patients with much-needed relief from joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. Its unique mechanism of action helps to suppress the overactive immune system responsible for the chronic inflammation characteristic of RA. As a result, upadacitinib has the potential to significantly reduce disease activity and slow the progression of joint damage. Not only does upadacitinib hold promise for those who have not responded well to other treatments, but it also offers hope for a more normal and pain-free life for millions of people worldwide. This video explores the groundbreaking potential of upadacitinib and how it may shape the future of rheumatoid arthritis treatment. Understanding Rheumatoid Arthritis and Its Impact Rheumatoid arthritis, RA, is a chronic autoimmune condition that primarily affects the joints. The immune system mistakenly attacks the synovium, the lining of the joints, leading to inflammation, pain, and joint damage. Apart from joint symptoms, RA can also cause fatigue, loss of appetite, and an overall decline in quality of life. RA affects approximately 1% of the global population, with women being more prone to developing the condition. It often begins between the ages of 30 and 50, but can occur at any age. The impact of RA on daily life can be significant, as it can limit mobility, interfere with work, and cause emotional distress. The current treatment options for RA focus on managing symptoms and slowing down the progression of the disease. These treatments include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DMARDs, and biologic agents. While these medications have brought relief to many patients, there are limitations to their effectiveness, tolerability, and safety profiles. The Limitations of Current Rheumatoid Arthritis Treatments Although current treatments for rheumatoid arthritis have improved over the years, there are still significant limitations that need to be addressed. Traditional DMARDs, such as methotrexate, can help reduce symptoms and slow disease progression. However, they may not be effective for everyone, and some patients may experience intolerable side effects. Biologic agents, a more recent development, have shown promise in managing RA by targeting specific proteins involved in the immune response. While biologics have revolutionized RA treatment for many patients, they are not without their drawbacks. These medications are often administered via injection or infusion, which can be inconvenient for patients. Additionally, some patients may develop resistance to biologics over time, reducing their effectiveness. Furthermore, both DMARDs and biologics suppress the immune system, which can increase the risk of infections and other complications. This highlights the need for more targeted and effective therapies that minimize side effects while maximizing disease control. Introducing Upadacitinib, How It Works Upadacitinib, the revolutionary drug developed by brand name, offers a potential solution to the limitations of current raw treatments. It belongs to a class of medications known as Janus Kinase JAK, inhibitors. JAK inhibitors work by blocking the activity of specific enzymes involved in the immune response, thereby reducing inflammation and joint damage. Unlike traditional DMARDs, upadacitinib has a highly selective mechanism of action that targets JAK1, a specific enzyme implicated in the pathogenesis of RA. By selectively inhibiting JAK1, upadacitinib effectively suppresses the overactive immune response seen in RA while minimizing interference with other important immune functions. This targeted approach not only improves the efficacy of upadacitinib but also reduces the risk of systemic immunosuppression associated with traditional DMARDs. By addressing the root cause of RA, upadacitinib has the potential to provide more comprehensive and long-lasting relief to patients. Clinical Trials and Efficacy of Upadacitinib Extensive clinical trials have been conducted to evaluate the safety and efficacy of upadacitinib in treating RA. These studies have consistently shown positive results, demonstrating the potential of upadacitinib as a game-changer in the field of rheumatology. In one pivotal trial, upadacitinib was compared to placebo and adalimumab, a commonly used biologic agent, in patients who had an inadequate response to prior DMARD therapy. The study found that upadacitinib was superior to both placebo and adalimumab in terms of reducing disease activity and improving physical function. Additionally, 
Upadacitinib showed rapid and sustained relief of symptoms, with many patients experiencing significant improvements within weeks of starting treatment. Another study evaluated the effectiveness of upadacitinib in patients who had an inadequate response to methotrexate, a commonly used DMARD. The results demonstrated that upadacitinib, when used as a monotherapy or in combination with methotrexate, was more effective than methotrexate alone in reducing disease activity and improving patient reported outcomes. The robust evidence from these clinical trials supports the potential of upadacitinib as a highly effective treatment option for RA. Its ability to provide rapid and sustained relief, even in patients with previous treatment failures, offers hope for those who have been struggling to manage their symptoms. Potential Side Effects and Safety Considerations As with any medication, upadacitinib comes with potential side effects and safety considerations. During clinical trials, the most commonly reported side effects of upadacitinib included upper respiratory tract infections, nausea, and an increase in blood cholesterol levels. However, the majority of these side effects were mild to moderate in severity and did not lead to treatment discontinuation. Of particular concern is the increased risk of serious infections associated with upadacitinib use. While the risk appears to be relatively low, it is important for patients and healthcare providers to remain vigilant and monitor for signs of infection during treatment. It is recommended that patients undergo appropriate screening for tuberculosis before starting upadacitinib therapy. Other potential safety considerations include an increased risk of blood clots, liver function abnormalities, and gastrointestinal perforations. These risks should be carefully assessed and discussed with the prescribing healthcare provider to ensure that the benefits of upadacitinib outweigh the potential risks for each individual patient. Comparing upadacitinib with other rheumatoid arthritis treatments. When comparing upadacitinib with other raw treatments, several factors come into play, including efficacy, safety, route of administration, and patient preferences. Traditional DMARDs, such as methotrexate, remain the first-line treatment for RA due to their established efficacy and safety profiles. However, if patients do not respond adequately to these medications or experience intolerable side effects, upadacitinib could be a viable alternative. Compared to biologic agents, upadacitinib offers several advantages. Biologics are typically administered via injection or infusion, which can be inconvenient and uncomfortable for patients. Upadacitinib, on the other hand, is an oral medication that can be taken at home, allowing for greater convenience and independence. Additionally, upadacitinib has shown comparable or superior efficacy to biologics in clinical trials. Its targeted mechanism of action and high selectivity for JAK the 1st of May provide more comprehensive disease control than biologics that target multiple proteins in the immune response pathway. However, it is important to note that the choice of treatment should be individualized based on the patient's specific needs, preferences, and risk profile. A thorough discussion with a healthcare provider is crucial in determining the most appropriate treatment option for each patient. The future of upadacitinib, ongoing research and development. The introduction of upadacitinib represents a significant milestone in the treatment of RA, but the journey does not end here. Ongoing research and development efforts are focused on further understanding the long-term efficacy and safety of upadacitinib, as well as exploring its potential in other autoimmune conditions. Clinical trials are currently underway to evaluate the use of upadacitinib in psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, and other inflammatory disorders. Preliminary results have shown promising outcomes, suggesting that upadacitinib may have a broader role in the management of autoimmune diseases beyond RA. Additionally, Researchers are investigating the optimal dosing strategies and potential drug interactions of upadacitinib to ensure its safe and effective use in different patient populations. These ongoing efforts aim to refine the use of upadacitinib and expand its therapeutic applications, ultimately benefiting a larger number of individuals living with debilitating autoimmune conditions. Accessing upadacitinib, availability, costs, and insurance coverage. As with any new medication, the accessibility of upadacitinib may vary depending on factors such as geographic location, healthcare system, and insurance coverage. It is important for patients to work closely with their healthcare providers and insurance companies to understand the availability and affordability of upadacitinib in their specific circumstances. In some countries, upadacitinib may already be approved and available for prescription, while in others, it may still be undergoing regulatory review. Patients should consult with their healthcare providers to determine the most appropriate course of action and explore potential financial assistance programs if needed. It is worth noting that the cost of upadacitinib can be significant, especially for patients without insurance coverage or with high deductibles. However, 
Pharmaceutical companies often offer patient assistance programs or copay assistance cards that can help reduce out-of-pocket expenses. Healthcare providers and patient advocacy groups can also provide guidance and support in navigating the financial aspects of accessing upadacitinib. Conclusion The promise of upadacitinib for rheumatoid arthritis patients. Upadacitinib represents a promising advancement in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, offering hope for improved disease control and a better quality of life for millions of individuals worldwide. Its targeted mechanism of action, superior efficacy, and convenient oral administration make it an attractive option for patients who have not responded well to traditional DMARDs or biologic agents. While upadacitinib comes with potential side effects and safety considerations, the benefits it offers in terms of disease control and symptom relief outweigh the risks for many patients. Ongoing research and development efforts continue to explore the full potential of upadacitinib, both in rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions, paving the way for a brighter future in the field of rheumatology. It is crucial for patients and healthcare providers to have open and informed discussions about the potential benefits and risks of upadacitinib, taking into account individual patient characteristics and preferences. By unlocking the power of upadacitinib, we can bring new hope and possibilities to those living with the challenges of rheumatoid arthritis. Thanks for watching.